last year, many can qualify and enroll for Obamacare. The California Health San Jose Health State's boost in enrollment is causing parking problems. On Zillow, right this two-bedroom apartment a block away from campus is listed at $22.95 a month. The California Health I'll work city job at San Jose State Transportation and Parking officials say they're taking a hands-off approach as the city of San Jose works to form a pilot project agreement with LimeBike regarding their electric vehicles in the downtown area. Hi, my name is Melia Saito. I am a 2.5 generation Chinese and Japanese American mixed media artist and filmmaker. I'm from San Jose, California, and I've been making art since the time that I was able to read. Um, so, since I was a kid. Um, although I haven't really owned myself as an artist, like pursuing this as a career um, since two years ago. So, since then, um, I've been really just diving into a creative community and all the different opportunities that I could um, just possibly get. My father is Nisei, second generation Japanese American, and he was born in San Jose, raised in San Jose, but during his early childhood, he was um, incarcerated along with his family in the internment camps. So he spent his early childhood, like around when he was three or five, but after the internment, a family moved back and they, like one of the first places they stayed at was in Japantown. My mom, her grandparents are from Guangzhou, China, and my mom was born in Hong Kong, later grew up in Taiwan before immigrating to the U.S. when she was 27. Um, so that's where the 2.5 gen comes in, having a mom, um, you know, having an immigrant mother and then a more, I guess you'd say like Americanized father, um, especially with the internment, that kind of history. Um, like I, it was hard for me to understand like Japanese culture uh, just because I, I just saw my dad as American. And even my mom would say that too. She, she would say like, oh, your dad is American. Uh, like he wants you to be American. I'm an only child, but I have half-siblings um, and step-siblings from my dad's previous marriages. I was an extremely shy and quiet child because I was just so used to being surrounded by adults. Um, I'm also the youngest within my generation, like on both my mom and dad's side. Uh, so yeah, I was at around, like as a kid, just wrapped around the ankles <laughs> of my mom and just really quiet. And when I was in, when I was starting school, like kindergarten, first grade, I wasn't interested in hanging out with the other kids because it was just such a, such a like a foreign thing to me. <laughs> and so during playtime, I would just immerse myself in a book. And that's how I started drawing because I started drawing the pictures that I would see in my books. And so I was a huge fan of comics like Garfield and Peanuts. So I, I drew in like a very cartoony style when I was a kid. I loved drawing like cartoons, um, animals, and that was like just using the illustrations in my books growing up, like that's how I basically taught myself how to draw. and. Um, I just like, especially being a shy kid, um, once I started draw drawing and then people would notice, um, it was, it was like this kind of attention that helped me kind of come out my shell. Um, it was a way for me to s express myself before I was able to, um, or before I had the confidence to, um, speak up myself. So growing up, I was raised on Windows 3.1. Um, I actually have a picture of, I think, my first digital drawing. But um, yeah, like I, I was a computer nerd as a kid. And so I, 
I was really interested in like learning about learning about how to use computers, learning about what kind of tools they had. Um, so I started off with just like MS Paint and just pixel art. <laughs> When I was a kid, I thought um, I thought like, oh, Japantown's boring because there's no comic book shops, there's no like manga stores, there's no uh, Japanese pop culture of the early 2000s, and you know that's what I associated with Japantowns. But now as an adult, like it's totally opposite. I uh, just seeing the sense of community that's in Japantown, like I love it. I feel like. A lot of the organizers for events and happenings in Japantown, they really value the history. Um, they really honor like the lineage of Japantown, fostering this inclusive, safe community. Like a strong sense of community is something that I really value and is a big part of the art that I do. So I, um, I went to college um, my college story spans 10 years. Uh, so out of high school, like I didn't know what I wanted to do um, because um, like even though my even though my my parents, you know, they put me in painting lessons or painting, painting class studio time, um, I I didn't feel like I could be the best um, because back then, like art was easily associated with competition and prestige um, and I didn't see I didn't see a future for art for me aside from using it as um, just a self-expression hobby sort of thing And so in 2016, um, I transferred to San Jose State. And I just picked the most, I mean, the least impacted major, the one that was just, that my coursework could apply to. Cause I, at that point I was just, I, I just want that degree. I want to get the stage of my life done with. Um, like, I, I feel like I could do it now. Like, I feel like I'm definitely in a more, in a better direction. And so um, that major ended up being organizational studies, which is this, it's like an anthropology interdisciplinary. Um, and it was a new pilot major. Um, it was hands, like it was, there was theory, but it was still like really hands-on. And I, I realized like that's the kind of learning that I, I want to do. Like I, str I think I struggled in a lot of my design classes and art classes because it was so like theory. Uh, theory focused and I just like I just wanted to make things <laughs> I, I knew Tom from uh, Dianza actually, and then um, he stopped by. He was just passing through like Nikkei Matsuri, and then we recognized each other. And um, 
he told me like, I, I remember you now that I know that you did this art thing, art thing, like I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna keep that in mind. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that's actually, that's probably how I got introduced to Hidden Histories. Like I just, I got like a cold call email from Sue and I think it's because I was like on the list, listserv for um, J-Town Art Walk or because like I've worked with Tom in the past. Um, and when I saw the, when I read the like, the scope of the project, like I thought, this is like, this is, this is it, this is my calling. Like, I think, like, I think I could come up with something great with this. Um, and um, I, 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 saw, I, saw the, I saw the initial call for Hidden Histories, I saw it as like, I knew that I wanted to use this opportunity to explore my family history deeper and build a, like, a deeper relationship with Japantown. So my aunt, Amy Okagaki, uh, she runs Amy's Beauty Salon on Taylor between fourth and fifth, I believe. Um, and I, I grew up like getting haircuts from her sometimes and going to her painting exhibitions. And so I, I knew like, I knew Aunt Amy was like, she's the, she's the artistic one, like she's the painter. She also has, she's just like a really sweet person. <laughs> So I recognize that I'm in this really special place because of my family connection with Japantown. And like, I don't take that for granted. And so I really want to share as much as I can about, you know, a slice of what being Japanese American is like from my own personal experiences, from my own like family history and like their experience. For a lot of like just growing up, I wish I had examples like that. I wish I had art that depicted like the Japanese American experience. When I was reading about like the use of AR, I just saw it as like, this is a whole new playground. Like I, I get to, I get to learn like Unity. I get to learn Blender. Like, okay, I'm game. I'm game. <laughs> Whole, so I, I mean, I practice art in so many different mediums. Um, I, I live life with this like hunger of I wanna like a successful and fulfilling life for me is to be able to like learn as many things as I can and to so I can be able to do as many things as I can. <laughs> <laughs>